let me give you a rough idea of what is about to happen. Now, if this is the entrance to our cave, the vehicle is going to descend from here. This is the very rough part where it's going to hit probably this or this wall right here. Now, if we manage to go through this part, this will be smooth sailing all the way to the bottom. Now, of course, I do not want to hit the bottom. So this is what I'm going to use, the system I'm going to use, to avoid hitting the bottom while managing to descend all the way down here. This small camera will be placed in here, facing this way, while this is illuminating the cave. To make sure I explore the whole depth of the cave, I will be using this 25 meter long belt. The one end of the belt will be tied to this piece right here, while the other will be secured somewhere on the surface. Now, the other part of that piece is secured to this fishing weight, which will be dropped into the cave so that the belt is lowered in nice and easy. Now, uh, since I don't want my vehicle to scrape the surface, I will have to measure how deep it is. So, this little pin will be secured right here so that this rope is lowered in tandem with the belt. Once the fishing weight hits the bottom and there's no weight on this rope, I will mark the part of the rope that designates the depth of the cave, release the pin, retrieve the rope and secure the depth marker on the vehicle. Now, in case this pin is still in the piece in the cave, I do have a spare one right here. At this point I can start my controlled descent using the marked rope to figure out the depth of the vehicle. Once I reach the marker that uh, designates the bottom of the cave, I will pull on the pin, release, and start my ascent. Crying.